All right, in this tutorial for Adobe Illustrator for beginners, we're going to be covering all the basics of Illustrator and how that is different from traditional raster based programs. So follow along and I hope you learn something. All right, now the first thing I want to discuss here is the basic difference between Illustrator and Photoshop or a vector program, which is Illustrator and a raster program, which is Photoshop. Now, whenever you're creating objects and shapes and things inside of Illustrator or graphics, you're working with vector shapes. So I'm just going to create just here a simple circle. So I'm going to draw a circle and then notice how in Illustrator, when I zoom in, no matter how close I get, I always have a perfectly nice smooth curve. And that's what vector graphics allow for. So one of the benefits of using Illustrator is that you can create resolution independent graphics. So it doesn't matter what this pixel size or screen density you're going to have fairly smooth lines. Now, the web also now supports native vector graphics through a file format called SVG, which is Scalable Vector Graphics. So using vector tools is a really helpful tool set because on the web, you can have like menus, icons, logos, things like that that need to scale up and down depending on the resolution of the device and always remain perfectly clear. So. Uh, just as a kind of a whirlwind tour here of Adobe Illustrator, I want to talk about the differences between Illustrator and a traditional program like Photoshop. So when you're working in Photoshop, typically everything is based on a layer, right? You create all these layers and things that are above and below are the stacking order of the layers and kind of everything is dependent on those layers. In Illustrator, not so much. In Illustrator, you can kind of think of it more like objects. So while you do use layers quite often, you can see here you do have your layers panel and you can create layers, but you typically work more on the stage, uh, the drawing area or the artboard in Illustrator and just draw objects. So all of the tools here on the left are all going to create various vector tools and shapes and things like that. So if I just draw an object here on the stage, I can grab another rectangle and I can draw this one over here and I'll just grab another star and I can draw this over here. Now, in Illustrator, when I select these objects, notice how they're all independent of one another. This isn't the case in Photoshop. Once you paste them on your pixels, right, you can't just move them around like this. So Illustrator is object based. Each individual object is a mathematical representation of this shape. And when you zoom in and zoom out, it redraws that shape via math. So you can kind of think of this as objects. Now, I'm going to colorize this object. Each object in Illustrator has two main colors, okay? This one right here is called the fill color, and the one right behind it is called the stroke color. So you see those same two palettes inside of Photoshop, but they're the foreground and background colors. In here, they're the actual stroke and fill of your individual objects. So the fill, I'm gonna change that. You just simply double click, and you'll get the color picker here, and you can just switch to any old color you want. I'll go with green here, and notice it automatically updates the fill. Now the stroke is the outline or the border of your shape. So that's black right here. So I'm gonna get my move tool V on the keyboard and select this object. I'm then gonna double click here on the fill, or sorry, not the fill, the stroke. So double click the stroke. Notice how that becomes active, meaning it's in front. And now I can change the stroke color. I'll change this to, I don't know, blue or something here. And hit okay. And that's kind of hard to see, but notice how that updates. I'm gonna change that to something that's a little bit easier to see, not so close to, uh, black. There we go. And now you can see that the stroke is updated as well. So the fill always is going to be on the inside and the stroke is the border. Now you can change the size of the stroke. So if I select my object here with my move tool and you open up your properties panel, uh, you'll notice that there are several properties over here. And this is the stroke right here. And I can increase and decrease the size. So watch what happens as I increase the size of my stroke by one point at a time. And I can decrease the size of the stroke as well. So all objects in Illustrator have a fill and a stroke. Now you don't have to have one or the other, you can. So for example, I can select this object. I can come over here to my stroke and this little icon right here sets the appearance. So there's three kind of colors down here. I can either set it to a color, which is it's set to right now a solid color. I can set it to a gradient. And now you can see it's set to a gradient going from light to black. Or I can just simply turn it off. So I can hit none and that essentially makes that disappear. And the same thing works for the fill. So I'm gonna turn back on the stroke to a solid color and I'm gonna select the fill. So I'm gonna click this icon so it's active and I'm gonna say none. 
So now basically I just have an empty hole, right? I have a stroke, but there's nothing in between. It's not white, it's actually empty. Notice what happens if I place it over the top of this object right here. So right now we have a, our second thing I wanted to mention, that's stacking order. So you can kind of create stacking order in two ways inside of Illustrator. In Photoshop, it's based on your layers, right? If one layer is above the other layer, they sort of stack like this, meaning the topmost layer is in front of you or closer to your eyes and they stack like this. The same thing works in Illustrator. You can take your layers, you can create multiple layers and stack them. However, you can also stack objects. So you can see all of these objects right now are just sitting on my artboard. They're all together. And I can select this object. Notice right now it's behind here. I'm going to increase the stroke of this again um, so you can see that just a little bit better. So I'll make that stroke quite a bit better. You can see my orange circle is behind the red square. So if I click on this and right click, you can say arrange and you can say bring to front. So if I bring it to front, it's going to move it to the top of the stacking order. Okay, right now the circle's back here. Bring to front is going to place it right here. So we click bring to front and you can see now it's on top, even though they're still all on the same layer. So that's kind of one of the things, key differences here is we have stacking order of objects inside of Illustrator. Um, so we have our shapes, we have uh, objects fills. They can also have some raster effects on some of these. But that's the key uh, idea of Adobe Illustrator. The only other thing I want to mention here in this introductory tutorial is that when you are saving Illustrator files, you'll save them in their native file format. So if you go File, Save on this document, you're going to decide where you want to save it. I'm going to save this to my computer. And notice that it is a .ai file. So that stands for Adobe Illustrator. Now there's several file formats that you can use. For example, you can use EPS file, that's encapsulated postscript. You can also notice this is the one I mentioned earlier. You can use SVG, and that's what you would use if you wanted to put it on the web for scalable vector graphic. So by far the most common thing you do in Illustrator is work with basic shapes. There's all sorts of tools over here for working with shapes. You colorize them using strokes and fills. You stack them on top of one another. You can create clipping masks to make certain areas hidden from other certain areas and then you work with the pen tool. Now I'm not gonna cover the pen tool in this tutorial, but I do have another tutorial. I'll put a link down in the description where you can see all about the pen tool. It's one of those things that you just have to learn in Illustrator. It's your number one go-to tool. You'll use the pen tools more than any other tool inside of this program. So the pen tool allows you to create any sort of organic looking shape. So you just simply click. You can create what are known as anchor points and I can click and hold to create these nice bendy shapes. And this uh, is using what are known as Bezier handles. And you can kind of see you can create all sorts of uh, shapes and objects with the pen tool. So that is your whirlwind introduction to Adobe Illustrator and a few of the differences between it and Adobe Photoshop. So we'll catch you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, share the content and have a great day.